Hello, old school RuneScape players. I'm Old Jamie Garrett. So I'm going to teach you how to uh, multiscape effectively. In video one, we talked about multiscaping with display resolution. Video two, we talked about multiscaping with virtual desktops. And then this is the third option for people who don't really have the hardware to do those first two options. But you can use a combination of these three things too. Mind you, just mix and match. I just kind of want to give you guys the tools. So let's hop right into it. So from the last video, I was talking about virtual desktops, but I'll just hop right in really quickly for people who missed it. The first way we can get multi-scape going is to select our resolution by right-clicking your desktop, going into display, looking at your um, window settings here, and then going to a higher resolution. And then if you have a higher res uh, monitor like I do with a 4K, you could fit up to 20 on one screen. Now, if you don't have that option, the second option is to hit Windows tab. And lo and behold, we have the virtual desktops. And then using the control Windows key, we can hop between desktop uh, A, B, and C, and as many as your, com your computer can handle. Now, if you don't have any of those options, I want to uh, show you Rune Light Configure. So if you type into your search bar in the bottom left, you put in Rune Light, left parentheses, and you start typing out Rune Light Configure, your computer should be able to bring this up. But if not, whatever, this is what it's called. Rune Light parentheses Configure. Okay, so you load that up. And what you do is you go to scale. Now scale is like, this represents 100%. So it's a 1.0, okay? So now if you want to fit more screens on your computer, you can change this number to a 0 0.75, a 0 0.5, 0 0.65, whatever you want to um, change the, to condense it or blow it up, okay? So if we did a 2.0, we'd, we'd make the client twice the size, twice the size as it is, and it would be twice as zoomed in. And we can go 0 0.5, I'll just do this for, um, Demonstrative, dem demonstrative purposes, and it will make the client and all of the image scrunch down to 50% of the size. Okay, so now if we close our clients, and then I load up four more, what's gonna happen is it's gonna load them up, but they're gonna be small, okay? They're gonna be smaller, so we're gonna be able to fit more on our screen. Now there's just one drawback with that, and you'll see here in a minute once these load. I could clip this, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy, but, once these do load, you can see, now we have twice as much room, but as you can see, they are twice as small. So text may be a little bit more annoying to see. Um, let me bring this one over here so we can kind of, I'll log in on one of my legacy accounts. Um, really quickly, I'll log in and then I'll show you guys that you may have a little bit issue looking at the text and stuff, but if you're doing something that you know, like it's just, you're looking at pictures, this is just an option. So with the normal resolution I have on my computer, I can go, uh, one, two, three, four, four and, four and three quarters. So that would be five. So um, that would allow me to fit somewhere in the range of what? Uh, one, two, three, four, four times. Seven. So 20, 20 on one on a normal resolution for uh, if you're normal, if your normal resolution is, sorry, I just want to make sure I'm telling you this correctly. If your normal resolution is 1920 by 1080. Okay. So with all that being said, let me show you how small it is though. As you can see, uh, everything's pretty tiny here. Uh, it's it's you are not going to be able to read text not that well. Um, I cannot, but you can kind of you can kind of get the gist, right? The exchange, the exchange, grand exchange, clerk there, etc. Like if you're high elking or like wood cutting, let's say wood cutting, you know what I mean? You don't need to see the text to go, oh look a tree. So if you want to put twenty U woodcutters on one screen, you really want to get you want to do that. This is how you do it. If you don't have the access, so then if you ever want to turn it back, you just go right back into that uh, room like configure. And then you go back here, and you go 1.0 and save. And then when you reload a uh, Rune Light client, it will be back to the normal size. So that's part three. If you got any questions down below, please leave them for me about how multiscaping, old school RuneScape questions in general, free to play stuff. Um, just leave me a question down below, comment down below, um, like the video. Uh, please subscribe if this was helpful. Really appreciate the support. Really helped me out. Um, if you subscribe and then just turn notifications off, then you don't have to worry about me spam posting all the time because I, I post a lot of content. So if you're not into a lot of content, then just kind of don't turn the notification bell on. But I am hunting for monetization, so I would really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Merry Christmas.